first ever YouTube video. Hopefully uh, if you get some information from this video and, and you'd like to see some more, you'll give me a few likes. Uh, I wanted to talk today about the TP Cast wireless adapter for the Oculus Rift. Recently was Black Friday and I decided that after years of waiting it was time to jump on board and go into the VR world. Why did I choose Oculus over HTC, PlayStation, or any other options? That will be covered in a different video, so stay tuned. But for now, after ordering the Oculus Rift, I noticed that the TPCast was coming out with the wireless adapter, and after playing a few games on the Oculus, it was a must-have. So, I put in an order Monday before last when it became available, and received this in the mail shortly thereafter, and decided to plug it in and try it out. The problem was, when I opened the package, I got some documentation here. I had a 42-page safety and regulatory guide, a 24-page limited consumer warranty, and then what I really looked forward to, the quick start guide. The quick start guide starts out with step one, download. Step two, assemble. And step three, run the client. That's it, one, two, three, piece of cake. Unfortunately, when I finished opening and unwrapping everything in the box, and looking at the back of the card, I saw that there are 15 items in that box, including a PC transmitter, receiver, power box, power bank, cables, uh, routers, power supplies, network cables, and uh, stands, that sort of thing. I was a little confused by that, wanted to make sure I did it right. You have to unplug the cable from your Oculus headset and plug in new cables. Um, wasn't sure how to do that. Nothing in here tells me. I went to their website, nothing on there told me. And finally, I came to YouTube, where I always go for the best instruction on things I don't know how to do, and unfortunately, uh, there were no videos there. So I decided that this would be a good time to jump in, try my hand at a video, and for anyone out there who's a little confused as I was about these instructions, I'd make a quick video just to show how to do that. Uh, along the way, just for note, I did decide to upgrade my computer. I went with some uh, new motherboard, the Maximus Hero. I got a new graphics card, the 1080 Ti, uh, and a few other goodies to put on to my computer to help with the VR experience, um, as well as uh, sensor mounts and other items that you may or may not have already. I would like to do some more videos and cover those items, why I made those selections, uh, I do quite a bit of reviewing before I buy these things because they are expensive and I'd love to share my decisions with you in case you're wondering if you should upgrade your components as well. So with that, let's get into how to set up the wireless adapter for the Oculus Rift. So here we have the Oculus Rift headset. Now there's two main pieces to this headset. One is the front mounting piece that has the uh, screens and everything in it. And then there is the eyepiece, which goes all the way around uh, the outside and touches your eyes. This is the piece you have to remove in order to remove this cable, which is attached to your Oculus Rift by uh, default when it comes. To do that, you want to press down carefully along the top edge uh, on the sides of the strap here while holding at the bottom down here. If you place your hand through, you can use your thumbs, is what I did, push down until it releases and then carefully pull it out and pull it along the sides to remove that eyepiece. Now the Oculus Rift cable has a small plastic clip on the side of it. If we can see on the other side, um, it's simply attached with two little grips. If you pry one of those off, it comes off easily and releases this cord. And finally, inside of the viewer here, there is a little bit of a plug uh, data cable. You can just pull that out carefully. And now that cable is free and you have a untethered headset. The next thing we're gonna do is remove the top of the uh, headpiece strap by undoing the Velcro, sliding it through and releasing it. Uh, a tip would be that at this point it's a good time to clean the lenses on the Oculus because you have easy access to it uh, without the strap in the way and without having the eyepiece there as well. Uh, after those are clean, I would go ahead and attach the TP cast cable. You'll notice there's two ends to it. One end has cables labeled A and B. We can see that. And then the other side has cables labeled 
conveniently A1 and A2 along, sorry about the focus here, A1 and A2 along with the data cable. That end, you're going to take this data cable and plug it into your headset where the original cable was. You're going to want to go over the top of the headset when you plug it in. And it snaps into place. Uh, the cables for the TP cast, because there's more of them, uh, is a little bit thicker and they're also a little bit longer. So you want to uh, leave a little slack there uh, toward the back of the headset. There's a little groove in here uh, at the back and that's about where the clip should go. Uh, I'm also going to turn this over so that the A1 and A2 cables are facing up and the other longer cable is facing down because that's going to go down to my hip pack that has the battery. So once I get those oriented, I'm going to take the clip, put it around those cables, and uh, you could actually just do the cable that goes to the battery pack and not the cables that go up to the headpiece. I'm going to do that just to give it more freedom of movement. Uh, the clip will hold it in place with just the one cord fine. And the A1 and A2 cables are going to go up to the top of the headpiece once we have it installed. The headpiece that goes at the top is uh, labeled A1 and A2, if you can see that. And it is the thicker of the uh, devices. There's another one that's thinner. Uh, the thinner one is going to hold the battery pack on your hip. So take the thicker one, wider one I should say, it has TP cast on the front and A1, A2 on the back. A1 and A2 should face the back of the headset and you feed the top cable through it from the back to the front, like so. And then that cable is going to feed up through the front headset slot where it used to be. Sorry. And it's going to have to feed through the TP cast uh, box and attach with the Velcro again inside of there. We um, are going to reinstall our eyepiece. And that's going to go back in just the opposite of before, nose piece on the bottom. We're going to stick that underneath and up inside. There's a little groove along the bottom. Uh, you can see that if you look closely and fit it in there and snap it into place. And the final step on our headset is to take the a1 and A2 cables and plug them into the A1 and A2 slots on the back of the headset. One is a HDMI cable, one is a USB cable, so you can't mess that up. Just make sure you put the HDMI and USB so that the bottom is where it should be. And then we've completed the headset portion. The other end of that long cable now that's sticking out it's going to go into the power pack, uh, B1 and B2. That will plug into the power pack at the top. Again, they've got a little slot in there and they've also got a tag uh, at the top of the plug here that uh, line up. So we're going to plug that in just like this. And then the USB 3 cable will plug into the second plug on the other side. Snaps into place. And then we're going to take our battery and on one end of this battery it has a couple of USB ports and also a charging port. Uh, the charging port uh, is for the cable that came along with this that goes from here and plugs into a USB port on your computer. The power pack has two USB plugs that fit into these ports. You'll line those up and slide it right into place. And you'll see the lights will come on indicating that it's made the connection. Uh, when mine was shipped it, it was charged up about halfway. You might want to charge it all the way. Um, there's a button on the side to check the charge. If you push the button it will tell you how much charge out of the four lights you have there. One final piece it came with a nylon belt. Uh, I can't fit the whole thing in the picture here. 
but it has a belt and a clip on it. Uh, you're going to want to take the pouch for the battery, slide it onto the belt, and then it's going to just hang down at your side and the battery pack will fit inside of here. You'll probably want the cables facing out away from you and it will fit in just like so. And that completes part one of getting the headset all uh, reinstalled with the battery pack and the belt and everything uh, functioning. The next part we will go over how to set up the router, the transmitter, and the software to get this thing all working for you wirelessly. See you next time.